Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be playing and testing Ilia Beauty. So if you want to see my thoughts on the brand, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. I really just get so curious about all of these brands that have come out and Ilia Beauty is not a new brand by any means, but it's a brand that I've been interested in for a long time. Now these items were sent to me, however, I'm not being paid. This video is not sponsored at all. Honestly, these items have been sitting in my collection for a while and I've been wanting to do a deep dive into the brand and I finally have the time to do it right now so I thought let's finally dig into Ilia. Now if you've never heard of Ilia they are a clean beauty brand that can be purchased at Sephora. I'm taking a look at the products I have in front of me. It seems everything is made in the USA. Everything has a very earthy natural kind of vibe to it and if you're into clean beauty I think this would be an awesome brand. Now I haven't tried the products yet but I really do have some high hopes. I've tried a couple of items from Ilia prior to this video. All of these items that I'm trying today are brand new to me. Let's just start diving in, shall we? So the first item that I'm going to try is called the True Skin Radiant Priming Serum. I have mine in the shade Light It Up. It says to shake well before use, so let's do that. It says after use after skincare and before makeup, and you're supposed to apply it like a serum and let it set for one minute. The formula will transform to a smooth finish, and then makeup is supposed to apply seamlessly after this. It's clean, silicone, and free fragrance free primer that bridges the gap between makeup and skincare. All right, let's try it out. So it's in a nice clean white bottle that has this dropper guy. Let me get my hair out of my face for this and let's take a look. Also, I'm going to get you uncomfortably close to my skin. Do you guys see this? How does a zit show up right here? Please tell me. Also, as you can see, I obviously have my eyebrows done already. So it says the shade is lighted up, but it seems to be just like a clear product a little bit watery. I don't know if you saw that. I know it was out of focus, but okay. We're just gonna press it into the skin. Oh, it feels really, really nice, actually. And then it thickens up as it sits on the skin. Oh, I like how this feels. I think if you have dry skin, you will be into a primer like this. Now, it almost makes the skin feel not tacky, but a little bit. It's not sticky, but you can definitely tell makeup is going to like this base. It's They say it's unscented, and it is, but it smells very natural, so there is a scent to it. But I think it's just the ingredients that have that scent. Like, it's not pleasant. Like, it doesn't smell like a bakery. But it smells like the ingredients. But anyways, we're going to let this sit for one minute. And I will be back. Okay, a minute has passed. I really like the way that it's made my skin feel. It feels hydrating, but not too hydrating. The product has sunk into the skin. So I do feel like it did prep my skin really nice for makeup. So if you have dry skin, I think you will really like this. We're going to go into foundation now. I have the True Skin serum foundation. It's supposed to deliver a light to medium buildable coverage with a smooth luminous finish. I have mine in the shade Selena though I do worry that this is going to be too dark. Let's try it out anyways. It's hard to pick a shade out online so it does seem to be a little bit more liquidy. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's not the thinnest foundation I've ever used but it is on the thinner side. If you're around my skin tone Selena is too dark for you. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to use my beauty blender. We're going to blend this and I also may or may not have been picking on my acne a little bit before this. <sighs> I can't help it. You know how tempting it is. So that's why my skin looks a little bit inflamed. I made it angry. So this definitely does give a light to medium coverage. Leaning more light. I did only apply a little bit and it really does leave a luminous finish. I'm going to do another pump. The pumps that this packaging gives are quite small. 
Just did another pump. So three pumps is I think going to cover the face nicely. So they call it a serum foundation. I definitely would agree with that. It's definitely very lightweight once you blend it out. Here's what one layer of the foundation looks like. You can see the skin underneath and it's very, very, very luminous. So I'm interested to see how this would wear. I'm gonna put just a little bit, like a quarter pump on my cap again. And I want to put a little bit on the redness to see if layering it will build up the coverage. And if you do want more coverage, you can also use a brush. I just, I love a sponge, okay? It's just my preference. And I don't notice too much coverage being added, honestly. So if, if you're a person who does like coverage, this is definitely not the foundation for you, but it seems to be a really beautiful, everyday, lightweight foundation that gives a nice glow. So we'll see what I think after wear time, but I like this so far. It's probably not my cup of tea, but it does seem like a really good everyday foundation. We are gonna move on to concealer now we have the true skin serum concealer so this also is going to be in that kind of serum-y texture I believe I have mine in the shade Yucca uh, the packaging looks like this this isn't glass but it kind of feels like it is I don't know very clean simple packaging here's what the applicator looks like and put just a little bit on this is a good color I like this color it's not too bright blending in really nicely this is a really pretty concealer it doesn't give the most coverage, but for me, I feel like it gives the perfect amount of coverage. It does look very hydrating <laughs> as well on the under eyes. So I definitely am gonna wanna set this face with a little bit of powder today, but these do seem to be a very good duo together. Before I set the face though, I have a couple cream products that I do want to try on the face. So Ilia has these multi sticks that I've been really wanting to try. So I picked up two shades. The packaging comes like, like this it's clasp closure here and this first shade that we have is all of me okay so these are a lot sheer than I envisioned you can see me running through it we don't get too much coverage and you can see it's very very glossy the other shade that I picked up is tenderly okay this isn't honestly the texture that I prefer for cream blushes. I just feel like a cream blush, I almost like them a little bit more matte because if they're glossy to start off with, a lot of times you look a little bit too oily at the end of the day. But let's um let's try it. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to use a BK Beauty 106 brush and I'm going to start off with Tenderly. We're going to see how I feel about it. Yeah, it's not really showing up too much. My face looks a little bit too shiny right now. I don't know you guys, I don't know about this. <laughs> Let's try the darker color, All of Me. I don't know if this is gonna do anything. I mean, this one just naturally, with it being a darker color, it's helping. It's not removing the foundation or anything underneath, uh, but it is a bit too glossy. Like I probably wouldn't pair all of these products together because it's a bit much in the shine department for me. I just feel like my skin is not perfect enough to handle this much dew. It kind of disappears. I don't know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of <laughs> how it looks if I'm being honest. I also got this to try. This is a Color Haze Multi-Use Pigment. It sounded interesting. This is supposed to be able to be both a cheek and a lip as with those multi-use sticks. So let's see what this is like. So this comes almost in like a lip gloss packaging. I feel like this is gonna be more up my alley. It still has a glossy feel to it, but it definitely is a texture that I like better. Hold on, let me use all of me on my lips first. No, I'm not a big fan of this, I don't think. Let's try this multi-use pigment here. I think I'll like it better. I'm gonna spread it out on my hand like this, and I'm gonna use the butt end of my sponge. Yeah, this product is definitely more up my alley compared to the multi-use sticks. Forgot to mention, I have this in the color Temptation. I prefer this. This, as you can see, you can actually see it. It doesn't look as sweaty on the face. I still look sweaty, but it's a little bit more bearable. I don't know, just for today's sake, I'm gonna do it like that. I'm gonna leave this cheek just to see what happens. I don't know why I decided to make myself look sunburnt. <laughs> but I did. Let's see how it looks on the lips too. This is a little bit easier to apply on the lips and it's very cooling. Oh, I like this product a lot. I personally recommend these over the multi-use 
sticks here because the multi-use sticks are a little bit useless if you can't even get the color from them that's pretty okay i do want to set my face though because i look like i've been wearing this makeup for eight hours i don't have a powder from Ilya, so i'm gonna use my kosas cloud set in the shade feathery and we're gonna mostly focus it on the t-zone area or the areas that i just feel like the shine is a little bit unflattering because we are going in with a powder, bronzer, and highlight, I'm going to leave the outside of my face up to those guys. Right here, a lot of oil collects between the eyebrows and the nose. So, I mean, that looks a lot better. Let's just save the look, honestly. All right, we're going to get into the bronzer now. So, these are the Night Light Bronzing Powders. I just love the nude packaging of this. So, this is the shade dr Drawn In. This one looks like it's going to be super pretty. Ooh, I like the way that it feels. Feels pretty creamy as well. Using a blinged brush F15. It does have a little bit of kickback, but nothing too crazy. Now I have a lot of creams on my face, so the bronzer did kind of grab onto that cream, but it blended out really nice. So it does handle being used with cream products well. Okay, I'm a big fan of this bronzer. I think the color is really pretty. It adds just enough warmth. It's the perfect level of depth. Gorgeous, gorgeous bronzer. I really like that. Okay, the next product that we have is Highlight. This is the Daylight Highlight Powder. I chose the shade Decades. Let's see, this looks like it's gonna be pretty also. Oh yeah, I like the way that that looks. Let's try it out. I'm using a Kaleidos H1 brush, and I'm just gonna press it because we do have the cream blush. We're gonna blend it. <gasps> Ooh, this is really pretty. This is like that modern kind of blending into the skin formula. Nothing too metallic or shiny, just that inner glow. But it still has a little bit of blindingness to it, which is beautiful. Okay, big fan of this highlight as well. Very, very nice. That's super pretty. I don't have anything for the eyes. I don't think Ilya has too much for the eyes. They do have some products as far as eyeshadow. So I am going to quickly put on, I think a Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize. That's what I'm feeling today. And we'll be back to move on to the next product. I'm back. I had to quickly throw something on the eyes. I can't bear a bare lid. But I did use some of the bronzer in the crease and then I used Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize and Sunset Rose. It just felt right to use this product. I don't know. It's time to move on to mascara. This is the Limitless Lash Mascara. I'm excited to use it. Let me curl my lashes very quickly. I'm going to use my Ruffer Lash Curler. So it comes in a nice nude white tube and let's take a look at the spoolie right here. I don't know if this is my favorite kind of spoolie, honestly. I like something a little bit softer. These look like they're gonna stab my eyeballs. <laughs> Let's see. The lower lashes are the best way for me to show you how a mascara works because I don't have very much. But let's see, but just know I'm not working with a lot. So you're not going to be impressed either way. But let's see. I already made a mess. I don't know if you can see, but one side, you see this is like a comb. And then this is, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, here is one coat. Honestly, I'm not super impressed with it. I'm gonna continue on and we'll see. Okay, honestly, the mascara behaved much better on my upper lashes. For some reason, my lower lashes, they're just so short. I really was having problems getting the product onto the lashes. I mean, to me, it's just a mascara. I can't say anything else other than that, so. Yeah, let's move to the lips. <laughs> okay, so I did pick out one lipstick. I love how the packaging feels. It feels nice and heavy. These are called the Color Block Lipsticks. They had a lot of different colors to choose from. I chose to go with Amber Light. This looked like an everyday rosy tone. Oh, it feels really, really nice, you guys. I really like the color of this. Okay, let's try it out. Let me clean up my lips, though. I absolutely love this color. It's the perfect everyday color. And I really like the consistency of this lipstick. It does feel very very high quality to me. Moisturizing. Mm, I actually really like this. Okay, I'm gonna get myself together and then we'll go over my final thoughts of everything before I get into the wear test. Taking a step back here is what everything looks like. It's such a pretty natural makeup look. Like my makeup, my skin looks so good. 
I look good right now and it's such a natural look but let's go into my first impressions of the products I am of course going to do a wear test because I feel like especially with these complexion products a wear test is completely necessary but I really like this true skin radiance priming serum if you have dry skin I think this is something that you would really enjoy it says it's firming and I agree with that it does feel nice and firming and smoothing as well it feels hydrating as well I like this obviously with face primers I feel like it takes a few times to see if it's actually worth it or not but based on this first wear I do like it so far I think it does favors to my skin and for makeup prep I like how how the True Skin Serum Foundation is looking after I powdered it. That's the key. Before it was powdered, I was really unsure about how this was going to look. So I really do need to test the wear time on this because if my oils come through in the next hour, that is going to be a problem. But if it works well with the powder, I do see this as a great everyday foundation because you can see my skin underneath, but my skin looks really good. It's not sitting on top of the skin. It has a skin like finish to it. Time will tell with this one but so far I like it and I do have the same feelings as well about the concealer. It is a very light concealer like you can still see these kind of crevices right here. Nothing too crazy but these two pair very well together. They truly are both the same line and are meant to be worn together. So again wear time is really going to test this but I will give these two credit where credit is due. Very skin-like finish. I mean, obviously you can tell I'm wearing makeup, but it looks so skin-like, I really like it. Unfortunately, was not that big of a fan of these multi-use sticks. I just think you're paying money for just a gloss over your skin. I, it didn't look very flattering to the texture of my skin. It didn't show up on the lips either when I tried it that way. So for me, these aren't worth it. Unfortunately, I had really high hopes for these. I love the idea of a multi-use stick, but these aren't what I look for in a multi-use stick. However, the multi-use color haze pigment is exactly what I was hoping these guys would be. This has more pigment. It still has that glossy, natural feel to it, which is kind of the aesthetic of the brand, but it gives me more. It gives me what I need. It also can be used on the lips, as you saw. So this definitely is everything that I thought these were going to be so I do like this I, this is much better I recommend this over the sticks my favorite products honestly were probably the powder products that I tried the bronzer is really the perfect tone for me and it almost looks like I used a cream bronzer that's how seamlessly it blended into the skin and it blended so well over the cream and like gel glossiness blush that I had on the cheeks with so much ease it gave the perfect amount of pigmentation so I haven't heard many people if anybody really talk about this bronzer but it just looks so seamless onto the skin it literally blends in like a cream product just like this highlight as well I am equally as impressed you can't see where the powder starts or where it ends and it does give this gorgeous glow to the skin it's not super natural like an hourglass you can see there is a definite shine right here but it's so skin like just the finish on the skin you you would have me fooled saying that this is a cream product it looks like it. So like I said, I've not heard anything about this either, but these two are probably my favorite products that I've tried. They just blend into the skin like a butter. The mascara honestly wasn't too impressed by it. I'm not the one to judge this mascara though because I'm not working with much to begin with so it takes it takes a very special mascara for me to be wooed so this seemed kind of average to me and I did really like the lipstick as well. It feels very high quality. It's not on par with say Charlotte Tilbury or Becca. Those are my favorite formulas but it's nice enough where if they have a color that I really enjoy then I would purchase it. This shade amber light perfect perfect everyday lip color I did a good job choosing this one I really love it it does feel a tad bit drying but nothing too uncomfortable and I don't even have a lip liner on underneath and it's staying well it's not moving what I'm going to do now is wear it for a few hours really pay attention to how complexion is working and then I will update you guys then if you do want a closer look though here is how everything is looking it looks super nice. I'm very, very happy with it so far. Hey guys, so I'm just checking in. It's 9.30. I've been wearing my makeup for nine hours now, and I am 
so impressed with how my complexion looks. I noticed I started getting oily around the five hour mark, which is completely normal. I was for sure that I was gonna say I looked way too oily, way too quick, but that wasn't the case. This foundation wore so well. I do recommend definitely setting with a powder because it looks way too glowy, but it handled the powder well. It stayed put. It looks super natural still. I didn't get too oily. Obviously after nine hours, I am oily but that's with any other foundation so wear time really really great so I like the products that much more I definitely recommend the foundation and concealer if you want a natural look just set with powder maybe not for oily skin types but for dry I think your skin will eat this up it's very hydrating I would like of course to use the product some more before I can give you final final thoughts but first wear first impressions first wear test really great so that is all I have for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you aren't subscribed to my channel already I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so and i will see you guys next time have a good one